Hi, welcome to the lab. I'm Ian Lauer. And I'm Ted the Day Coach. In the lab, we bring you information on supplements to help you build your best physique. Which supplement are we looking at today? Today, we're going to look at sodium and how it affects the body, especially as it pertains to contest prep, especially the last week. And it's uh, a subject that I have to uh, talk about in detail with a lot of my athletes because it's highly misunderstood. The biggest misunderstanding is that sodium is your enemy when it comes to uh, the last week of contest prep. And it really isn't. Um, the enemy really is an imbalance in sodium potassium, in your sodium potassium levels and your mineral levels in general. Um, a lot of people deplete sodium levels too hard, and so they end up looking soft and flat. Um, your muscles can't get hard and full and round looking if you don't have enough sodium. You can't load carbohydrates in the muscles very effectively if you don't have enough sodium. So generally speaking, I keep sodium in people's diets uh, almost all the way up to the show. It's just everybody's a little specific. So in general, I gauge it by trying to push as much sodium into the body as I can uh, weeks prior. A lot of people say, oh, really? You want me to take in that much sodium? And I say, yeah, don't hold back. Use soy sauce, use salt, because your kidneys process minerals and, they, and you will train your body to release minerals at a higher rate when you take in a lot of them, especially things like sodium. If you take in very little amounts of sodium, you, you will end up, your body will end up retaining lots of those minerals. And then therefore, sodium tends to displace water outside the cells. So you tend to get this watery look if you have too much sodium and your body's not able to release those minerals. Um, so that, this is where potassium comes in. So if you, uh, potassium is important to create, to help create that osmotic balance uh, in the cells. And so a little bit of potassium goes a long ways. But I would say... Uh, that uh, when it comes to sodium, especially when it comes to loading and depleting, in most cases I don't like people to load uh, because you should sort of be loaded already through your process. And then a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of depletion of sodium toward the very end if you need it. I've seen guys who could go into shows taking in fairly high amounts of sodium and really not have to cut their sodium at all. And some guys have to just cut it a few hours before uh, they go to bed the night before the show, before, before pre-judging. Um, but, uh, like I said before, it's good to take in a little bit of potassium, probably somewhere between uh, oh, 100 milligrams, 100 to 200 milligrams, a couple of times in the day for a few days before an event to help balance some of that out. If you find yourself, if you're one of those people that has a lot of cramping issues, potassium is not going to help you. Um, so this is a big misunderstood thing, and I don't mean to deviate too much, but it's important because when you deplete sodium, sometimes it affects other uh, mineral levels, and the two minerals that are really important, especially when it comes to cramping and when it comes to um, getting, making sure these all these levels are correct, is calcium and the all important magnesium. Magnesium is the culprit, the main culprit behind muscle cramps in general. So balance these things out. Generally, a thousand milligrams is a two to one ratio of calcium and magnesium. That's what you really want. Uh, 1,000 milligrams of, of calcium, 500 milligrams of, of magnesium uh, every day, uh, sometimes a little bit more if you're highly active or if you're a bigger fella, but, uh, but generally that's, that's usually good enough, especially um, the last week of the show. So sodium, really important. Um, take in lots of, lots of it, gauge it by what your response is, and train your kidneys to release sodium, and then at, toward the end, start to mediate that process through clean, cleaner eating tactics the last couple of days before the show, and you can manipulate those levels and get it right. All right, Ted, some great information on that supplement. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us here in the lab. Make sure you click back soon for more great episodes.